enter your passcode followed by the pound key or star zero to speak with an operator. Your passcode has been confirmed. Please wait while you are joined to the conference. Hello? Hey, Stuart. Yeah, hello. Sure, yeah? Hey, it's Bruce. Ah, uh, Bruce, how you doing? All right. I'm not sure if we're the only two on right now or not. Bruce, don't say anything too bad. I'm here with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Hi. I'll keep it clean. Do you want to talk about cheese? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese in a can. Cheese, but what about that McDonald's at the Pentagon, eh? <laughs> oh. I've told so many people, no one believes me. Really? Yeah. You mentioned that picture. The face with the McDonald's in the middle, it's just incredible. <laughs> in your world then, Bruce? Really? Uh, yeah, just still uh, catching up from the time when I was away. So working on that stuff, and um, I just saw the information about the big ACPO cyber conference in Sheffield. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're going to be able to come? I think so, yeah. Good. So, I mean, we're, we're um, I think... Uh, we're sort of almost on mass going to be going up to it, so it should be quite a good uh, event. Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Uh, got John Grief speaking at it. He's a, he, I don't know if you've ever met him, but he's a lovely man. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, one of, one of uh, uh, a true sort of um, old-school detective, and he's uh, mad as a box of frogs. <laughs> Is Matt presenting up there? Or? Yeah, I, don't, I think my level of knowledge is too high for a lot of them. Yeah, we'll just leave them in charge of the IT. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I've never been to Sheffield. No, no actually, you've, missed, you've missed nothing. It's a cult. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid so. It, it's not exactly a jewel in England's crown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there you go. Well, there's a big university up there, right? Sorry? Isn't there a big university up there? Yeah, uh, Sheffield Uni is quite yeah. big. There's a huge shopping centre as well, but I think that's about it. Is that it? But that, it's a bull ring. Is that, is that the famous thing in Sheffield, the bull ring? Or there's a big roundabout in the middle of it, which uh, sort of got an upstairs and a downstairs. It was quite exciting in the 1970s. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a Flyers nightclub. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. yeah that one was good for a night out. Is it McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Dunkin' Donuts, though, because they're pure Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> think, you're not sure. It's right there somewhere, anyway. <laughs> They might have shot a movie there, but then again, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it wasn't there, it was here. <laughs> no, no, uh, it was there. Uh, <laughs> I've told so many people about that. Did you speak to um, Andy about that information? Oh, uh, no, not yet, I have not. Okay, no, that, I, well, that's good, because uh, it's only just dawned on me. I, I forgot to mention it to him. I went in to see him, but his phone was... He was in a phone call, so I didn't actually uh, forewarn him, but I'll do that straight after this. I reached back out to our Washington field office and told them that Andy was a good point of contact, and then um, they came back and said, oh, well, we kind of want to do a dual interview with him, so I need to get back with them and try to sort that out, because I know that's kind of not what you guys normally do. That's, that's, that's an interesting one, that. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I th he's 18 years old, isn't he? He's 18, he says, yes. Okay, well, I mean, that, okay, it's a step in the right direction there, then. Um, but, um, 
maybe step one would if would be for us to do the first introduction. Okay. Uh, and then move on from there. So we'll discuss it after Bruce. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello, this is uh, Tim Oster calling from uh, headquarters. Uh, sorry for joining late. Uh, we had a conference room that was double booked, so uh, Jerry and Chad are going to be joining momentarily. Um, oh. And uh, who's on the call right now? You've got your London contingent. Okay. Gert and Matt and uh, Bruce in that little office down the road. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Los Angeles is here, too. L.A.? Anyone else? Probably in the background. Yeah. All we have is uh, UK and LA. All right, this is going to be a short call. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. All right, I'll uh, go ahead, uh, Matt, if you want to take off. Uh, just let us know where you guys stand. Um, well, we um, basically, as was, I think, on the last call, we've, um, uh, we've still got Ryan Cleary, and James Davis. Let you deal with that if you want. Go ahead. I think somebody just hopped on. Hey, sorry, it's Chad Hunt from the FBI. Yeah, hey, Chad. Uh, as I say, the situation this was really, we've got Ryan Cleary and Jake Davis, Stuart Court on the 27th, um, following some discussion with the uh, New York office. Uh, we're looking to try and build some time in uh, to allow some uh, operational matters to uh, fulfill on your side of the, uh, the water. Um, so we've, we've set back the further arrests of Kayla and Tiflo, uh, that being and um, until we know what's happening. We've got our prosecution council making an application um, in chambers, i.e. Uh, without the defence knowing uh, to seek a way to try and uh, factor some time in that won't look suspicious. Okay. How much time do you think is reasonable that they'll be able well, to? I've, I've gone and said uh, eight weeks. Okay. Um, if they come back and say they only give us six, then I think it still um, still helps you guys out. Yeah. But I've, I've said for eight weeks uh, in the first instance. We have got Ryan Cleary's indecent images, um, which have been found... Um, partly by our guys and partly by the USAF uh, team who looked at its hard drive. So what we're going to propose is that they get dealt with first. Historically, they're the, uh, the older offences. And then um, that would take six to eight weeks before we then rolled on to the second half of it. But it's down to the trial judge, really, how he wants to play. Okay. And th I just want to express our uh, gratitude for uh, being flexible on this. Uh, I know uh, we all, I know New York appreciates it, and uh, FBI as a whole. Hey, we're here to help. <laughs> we appreciate that. We cocked things, we cock things up in the past. We know that. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it's, um, it gives us more time to examine the chat logs in any event. So uh, it's, it's, it's not that much of a hardship. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, is there anything else? Um, just one thing, the, the lad um, uh, who was CSL sec uh, is his real name, known as Tawongs. Um, he, he was um, of interest to one of the guys at New York. Um, he got arrested just before Christmas for, um, I think, DDoSing his school, and then he, um, he did some stuff over the Christmas break on the uh, supposed Project Mayhem or whatever the hell that was, Operation Fuck You. Sorry.